What's up, vloggy pilots? Vloggy Poncho here. I just got home from work and I'm mad. This happens a lot. Way too often, really. I've come to the conclusion that I have recently joined the millions of Americans who hate their job. I hate my job. I despise what I do. Every single day I hate it. It's just... When I was hired, I was told I would be doing one thing. And then after I got through the training and went out to start my work, I was doing something else. Completely different. Totally unrelated. And uh, not only is it not what I was promised I would be doing when I signed the offer letter, it's also just a bullshit thing in general that I would never have wanted to do anyway. <laughs> it's just... It's ludicrous. And one of my goals has to be to do, do something about this because I am... I'm fucking sick of it, man. I really am. <sighs> just, I'm in rage right now. I can't even think straight. I just, oh, so angry, just all the time. It's really frustrating. It's like, I think I'm a good metaphor here. <laughs> oh, I don't know. You know when somebody cuts you off in traffic and you have that moment of rage where you're just like, fuck you, you're just mad at them? I'm like that for like an hour every day. It's just, I'm sure it's terrible for my health. My blood pressure probably just skyrockets every time, uh, every time I have to talk to a certain coworker, every time I walk into my cubicle, it's just like, oh, fuck, I do not want to be here. Oh, man. So I got, I'm going to do something about it. I, I got a plan. I'm going to ask to be transferred to another division where I can actually do Java development, which is what I was told I would be doing. And uh, they won't transfer me. I'll just get another fucking job. I got, I'm really intelligent. I got, I'm mobile. I got two degrees from a good university. I have killer test scores and all that shit. I just, I am like as employable as it gets. And at this current position, I'm undercompensated, underappreciated, and I'm not, I hate what I'm doing. Every single day I hate it. Uh, so I'll give you updates on that. Hopefully, sometime soon, there'll be a change there. But that's not what this video is supposed to be about. This video is supposed to be about my goals, which that's one of them, is getting to a position where I don't hate my job anymore. Uh, other goals, I'm, I'm, at this point, I'm not building a specific list. I'm going to keep thinking about it for another day or two and build something really good. I'm trying to work on my checklist, though. That's my real target right now. But of course, other long-term goals for this year are to get into better shape. I'm basically back where I was a year ago. <laughs> for about six months out of the year, basically the entire time that I didn't have a job <laughs> last year, I was doing pretty well. I was exercising enough. I was eating less. Um, basically keeping track of my calorie consumption. It was doing really well. I was down 13 pounds from where I started at one point. And now I am right back where I started six months after that. So I basically went down and then right back up. It's like the moment I got a job, it just, all my energy is gone. The, this fucking job just sucks the life out of me. I, I get home, I don't want to make LPs. I don't want to do anything. Like I'm, most of the time, like when I get home, I'm so fucking tired. I'm so sick of it that it's a pain to even get out of my work clothes. Like I want to just lay on the floor. It's horrible. And, uh. That means, it's like, oh, yeah, I should go to the fucking gym now. That'll just be amazing. I really feel excited about going and running on a treadmill for an hour after dealing with this shit all day. And it's just like, how am I supposed to have any motivation to exercise after dealing with this garbage? So I have to deal with this job situation first, and then I can work on other smaller things. But that will be another long-term goal, try and get into better shape. And then, I mean, other than that, I'm really just, I don't have any ties. I could do whatever the hell I want other than that. I'm, I'm, at this point, I'm just trying to save money and get into a position where I can, in a few years, switch companies and get into a senior development position and move to a city where I want to be, which right now, I have no idea where that's going to be. So general goals of improving the situation at the office, getting in better shape, and then in general, trying to take better care of myself. I've, I've kind of let things go. I, I, I'm, I'm overdue for a dentist appointment. I'm overdue for a doctor's appointment. I mean, just 
I'm not getting enough sleep at night. I just, I gotta take better care of myself. Like, that's something I need to focus on. I'm trying to improve my health. That should be my goal, improve my health, which is like part exercise and part lifestyle. <sighs> man, I apologize for getting on here just yelling, but man, this is what it's like every day. It's just, it's un unrelenting, relentless. Those are both actually words, aren't they? Yeah, I'm pretty sure that those are both actually correct words. That's strange. I haven't read the comments from yesterday's video yet, so I'm going to do that now. Thanks for all your comments, guys. Yeah, I'm amazed after one day. There's already 21 comments on there. I figured everybody would have unsubscribed by now, but you guys are still around. It was me who went away. Anyway, yeah, there's some good comments over there. Somebody told me, yeah, it's peaches and cream. I think that's one of them. It's like, it's not all peaches and cream or cakes and rainbows or whatever. I guess you can pick anything you wanted, really. I don't know if there's one right answer for that, but that one sounded closest to me. And then, uh, oh, what was, I already forgot. It's been too long. It's been 10 seconds. I already forgot. I was thinking about what I was having for dinner. Uh, what, am, what am I talking about right now? Right, my checklist. I have to turn on my monitor for this, so you'll see the reflection appear in my glasses. This is a little bit annoying, I'm sure. Oh, I put another light over here. Very nice, nice and bright. It's not actually pointed at me, it's pointed at the wall. It's indirect lighting, it's better. I'm looking at the, I have to remember to look at the camera, not at my screen down there. Okay, where's my checklist at? I got too many things on my desktop. I hate when that happens. So, I, okay, I got a bunch of categories from my full life checklist. The point of this checklist is to be something that I can look at on like a weekly basis to confirm that I'm doing my goals and I'm doing the things that I'm wanting to be doing. And there's also going to be a separate checklist that's a daily checklist. It's just to remind me to do the things that I need to do every day. Like uh, to brush my teeth before I go to sleep. I find that I remember it in the morning because it's part of my routine, but I tend to forget it at night. Because, you know, I go to bed at different times at night. Maybe I stay up late and I'm really tired and I just plunk into the bed or maybe whatever, you know. And in the morning, it's like, oh, I do it right after breakfast. But I don't want to brush my teeth right after dinner because then I might have a snack later or something. So it's a little harder. So I'm going to make a checklist. I'll be like, oh, I got to do this for my mom. That's right there. I don't know. I mean, I'm sure it's just as easy to forget to look at my checklist as it is to forget to brush my teeth. But we'll just, it's all about improvement. We're trying here. So I got some categories. Uh, financial. This is a good one, I think, because it's obviously pretty important. <laughs> now that I, I'm supporting myself with my own job, I need to have make sure my money's in order. And so for this one, I have I have basically lines and then check boxes for how many times I should do that task in a week. So I have a task that says go to work, and it has five check boxes next to it. Kind of obvious, I guess, but it's definitely something I don't want to forget to do. <laughs> I don't think that would be a problem. This is really just, I really just put that one on there to reward myself. To be like, oh, I went to work today. I'll scratch that one off. And then I put a, a line for checking on my bills and accounts. I figure once a week is a good, a good timetable to look at my accounts online, make sure everything's still in order, and then pay any bills that are due. Or that are about to be due. Okay, that's financial. That's about all I can think of the financial category. I have some other goals, like smaller goals, like one-time goals that I need to do financially, like create a retirement account. Uh, but in terms of things I do every week, going to work and making sure my money's in order. That's basically all I need to do. Uh, and then the next category is social. So in this one, I have one that just says post to Facebook three times a week, which I guess is good. Because I've found that I post to Facebook so infrequently that when I do people tend to respond on either Angry Poncho or on my personal page. I mostly, I almost never post on there, so I'm going to try and make it a goal to do that more often so that I can stay connected with the friends who don't live near me. And then, uh, also under social, call my relatives, be it grandparents or parents or my brother or whoever. Which is, I mean, that's good. Stay in contact with your family, right? So and then uh, another social is uh, hanging out outside work. So I found that it's really easy. It's really easy to get sucked into work and just spend your time at work, and then come home and be tired all day, and then on the weekends just recover. And like you never, I never, I was never seeing anybody. I was just alone all the time, and it sucks. So I'm trying to make it a point to at least once a week to hang out with somebody outside of work, like go bowling or I, I don't know, have a date with somebody. That'd be nice. Oh, there's some news. Oh yeah, I guess I have to make 
a video at some point of all the things that have changed. I guess I'll just say them as I remember them. I'm not going to be able to think of them all at once. Maple and I broke up. That was like, jeez, I guess like two months ago now. It's weird. I got, it's always weird when you're dating somebody for a really long time and then you're single again and it's like, yeah. <laughs> I mean, I'm fine with it now, but uh, it's definitely weird at first because if you're dating somebody for years, you get used to that relationship as being part of your life. And we haven't really talked much since we broke up, so it's like, that chapter is over, I suppose. That's life. All right, next category is health. So I have, uh, this one needs to be edited, actually. I need to add some things on here. Like, uh, I have play racquetball for three times a week. But that's, that's my, that was my old version. I need to change it because I don't know if I want to play racquetball all that much. I really like the, playing racquetball. It's a lot of fun. But... The, the LA Fitness, I have a membership at LA Fitness. That's another new thing. I got a deal through General Motors, who I work for. And uh, I, should, I should say, I kind of was a little bit mad about 10 minutes ago when I made the beginning of this video. There's something wrong with General Motors as a company. I mean, they have a great benefits package and it's a really great casual work environment. It's, it's just that I'm not doing what I was told I would be doing and that kind of ruins it for me. Uh, but as a company, I mean, it's great. Uh, yeah, but so then... Oh, that was a weird change of topic. I lost where I was. Racquetball. Yeah, through General Motors, I got a deal with LA Fitness where it's cheaper and they waive the initiation fee, which normally is like three months or rent or fees or whatever you call it when you pay your gym membership. Uh, so I, I've had that. I guess I've paid for it for t uh, twice now. It's month to month, no, no long-term contracts. Any gym that makes you sign a long-term contract is a scam. Don't do it. If you can't get a month-to-month -month deal, find another gym. Uh, so it's 30 bucks a month. I've paid for it for two months now. I've gone to the gym maybe 12 times, so I mean, I'm not really getting my money's worth. The deal with a racquetball, though, is that I, as much as I enjoy playing it, the closest LA Fitness that has a racquetball court is like 20 minutes away. And at the end of the day when there's traffic, it takes like an hour to get back from there. It's horrible. It's not worth the time. It really, I mean, really, I could drive there, and it would take me 45 minutes to get there. I'd play racquetball for an hour, and it would take me an hour to drive back. It's, it would take me three hours to get 60 minutes of exercise, and that's just awful. There's an LA Fitness like five minutes away from me that even in traffic is only like 10 away, and but it doesn't have a racquetball court, so I'll have to just get used to doing ellipticals or something like that to, for my cardio. And then I also want to get into a lifting routine. Uh, I've heard a lot of people from tons of sources say that starting strength is the right routine for someone who's not been lifting in a long time. I haven't lifted weights since I was a sophomore in college. It's, three, it's been three years. I'm out of shape. I can't just go back in there and like to go back to where I was. And I got to start back from the bottom. But the problem, one of the problems with lifting is that I have the carpal tunnel. And even though my ergonomic devices, like my rollerball mouse, uh, have done a great amount of help and where I, I don't have chronic pain anymore, I do still have pain when I try and push things with my wrist. So the quintessential example is the bench press. I cannot do a bench press. It like sends just like like ribbons, rays, I'm, like stabbing horrible pain through my arm. And like basically anything when I have to push with this part of my hand, it's just excruciating. Uh, it just puts because it puts pressure on the carpal tunnel, which basically is like extreme carpal tunnel syndrome. Just bam, bam, bam. It's terrible. And then it'll be like aching the whole next day. So I have to figure out how I'm going to get around that. I have to find other ways to work my chest. Okay, also on health, I have a clean apartment once a week, which I think is a pretty good timetable. This place gets to be a mess. Maybe I should put it to be twice a week, actually, now that I think about that. Because messes can build up really quickly. And the reason this is under health is because when my apartment gets to be a mess, I lose focus. I can't find things in my desk, I, I, my bills that I need to pay, they're lost in the clutter. I mean, I've always, I have always had to find them, but it's just, it's just a pain to find them in the clutter. And then if my kitchen gets really gross, that's not good. You know? And then clothes all over the floor, I don't know how long it is until I need to do laundry. It's just everything about having a nasty apartment makes my life harder. So I'm going to try and keep it nice and clean. In general, I'm a fairly tidy guy. It's just coming home from work, it's like a Oh, where's my energy to, to friggin' vacuum my apartment? Like, that's the last thing I want to be doing right now. And uh, then, 
Uh, also on health, do the dishes. I have that on there as, as a twice a week activity because a lot of what I do is I just goes in the dishwasher. That's no big deal. I do that whenever it needs to be done. Just stick them in there as they get dirty and then run it whenever it needs to be ran. Um, but pots and pans and things tend to accumulate in my sink. I mean, I'm a bachelor. What do you want? So I'm making a goal to clean the, clean that sink out and spotless twice a week, which will keep it consistently clean. And then also under health, I have get eight hours of sleep. And that's the goal. And I guess for some of these goals, they're just going to be like, they're all check boxes where I can fill them in. I think for some of the goals, I'll give myself the option to fill it in halfway if I come close. For example, if my goal is get eight hours of sleep and I get seven and a half hours, I'll fill in half a box because it was probably pretty close. I mean, functionally pretty much the same, but I didn't quite reach the goal. So that's what I'll do when I have uh, those goals that are kind of a little bit flexible. It'll be either all the way or halfway credit. Next category is internet presence, oh, which you guys have all been like, he's dead. <laughs> he's dead, Jim. They're all dead. There's so many quotes about people being dead. Uh, seven checkboxes for Let's Play episodes. I would love to get back up to one video a day on Angry Poncho, and I'm hoping to get just as many videos as I can on Vloggy Poncho. Up to one a day, but I'm not going to lock myself into that. There are going to be days when I don't have anything to say. I mean, Sunday afternoon, what am I going to talk about? I mean, maybe I'll have something, but I'm not going to try and force extra stress into my life to try and create a vlog video every day. People in the comments, people were saying that as well. That it just, it, it drains you, making it that much of a, of a routine or a rigor. So I won't, I won't put check boxes for the vlog, but I will be checking in probably at least every other day, every few days if it's really nasty, which it might be. And then also I have a, a box to try and stream once a week, which with the way my weekends are, I could stream every weekend if I wanted to. It's just a matter of having a good game and having the energy. It all comes down to my, my energy level. I just, and I don't even mean, it's not really energy. It's more like motivation. Because I'm not tired when I get home from work. I, I'm active enough. I could go and kick ass at racquetball right now if I wanted to. I don't want to. That's the problem. I have My work is so stressful and so draining that I, can, I come home with enough energy to do things, but zero motivation. So hopefully, like I said, that's my first and biggest goal to improve my situation at work. All right, next category is relaxation, because it's important that I don't just have all these hard line, go to work, go to the gym, make a, make, make a Let's Play episode, cook a healthy dinner, clean the kitchen, go to bed, be sad. You know, it's just like, oh, I don't want to live that kind of life. So I, I put relaxation in as a category because... I wanted to make it on my checklist that I can just take it off every now and then, relax. And so I, I put it on my checklist to play video games, which I don't do anymore. <laughs> I, I mean, I love playing video games, but it's gotten to the point where my life's so busy that the only time I ever do it is when I'm making a, a video. And I wanted to get back to where I can just play whenever I want, and it's not something that I have to try and schedule a video for or try and set up a stream with. I can just play, it's fine. Just relax me. Uh, and I also have watch Netflix on here. This isn't really because I have a goal that I really want to not watch Netflix. It's because I expect that I will be watching Netflix and I want to track how much I'm watching. Because I was at the point, I mean, I, I still was, like up, up until yesterday when I finished season eight of Dexter, uh, watching between two and five episodes of Netflix every day. And I was just sucking away all my free time. But the thing is, watching an episode of Netflix takes like zero motivation to do. I sit on the couch and I watch TV. It's like, I finally understand why that's the stereotype. You come home from work and all you want to do is sit on the couch with a beer and watch TV. That's me now. <laughs> like, I'm officially a middle-aged guy. I just, I was like, I'm done. I got home from a hard day's work. I want there to be dinner on the table at 6 o'clock and I want to get home and nobody asks me to do anything. I just sit on the couch and have a beer and watch TV. And it's just, since I don't have a cable service, I just... I have Netflix, but I don't want I don't want, I don't want that to be my life. That's so empty. So I want to track how much Netflix I watch to try and keep that down, and instead do other things that are more rewarding, more constructive. Uh, and then other categories, uh, I have one that's just general to-do list items because I always have a to-do list of one-time items, like go to the dentist this Thursday, things like that. So I put, I put that as a category. So I'm going to try and do three to-do list items each week. 
which is about the rate that they come in, so I'll be keeping up with things. And the final category is enrichment, uh, which this is kind of laughable, honestly, because if I actually took the time to do all these other things, there would be zero time left for enrichment, but sometimes it's worth it to do something for yourself, and not just to make yourself more relaxed, but to make your like self-worth, self-esteem, to give yourself an accomplishment. And one of them is Project Euler, which is a website that has challenging computer science and math problems. Try and solve one of those every week, because they're actually very rewarding, and it keeps my Java skills up to date, so I can still use them if I ever get a chance to work. And the other enrichment the thing I put was music. It's very category. It's a very wide category. Might might be just play the guitar for half an hour just to relax and you know not totally forget what it's like to play the guitar, like I actually could do once. And then, uh, or maybe it's just listen to something that I haven't listened to before, like find a new band. Or maybe I'll just put on an album I like, turn off the lights, and lay on the couch and just listen to an album. Do you ever do that? I mean, a lot of times when people listen to music, you're doing something else. You're in the car, and it's on the radio. You're at work, it's on the radio. You know, you're in the kitchen, and you're doing things, or, or you're at a party. You don't, Do you ever just sit down and listen to music and not do anything else? You're not listening while you're on Reddit. You're not listening while you're watching. No, you just sit down, put on a CD you like, or a song you like, or whatever, and just sit and listen to it. Just close your eyes and just relax and enjoy the music. That is so rewarding. It really does just cut the stress right out of you. And uh, I want that to be another goal. So right now, that's everything that's on my list. If you've got any other things that you think that I should add, uh, other tasks, targets, things I should try and do, aim for, be them specific or general, let me know in the comments because I'm looking for your input. And uh, that's about it. I guess I should shut up. Oh, one, one, one last thing. Some things never change. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Ugh. Oh.